Um, so this is the time when we bore you and we tell you who we are. Is that correct, David? All right, that'll work. Let's do that. We'll see who we can stare off. Is that on the agenda? Oh, take those off. I'll look much nicer without them. <laughs> okay, so um, Dave and I came up with the idea for the SBCN um, Community Network, Small Business Community Network, 16 years ago because um, something's making dings. Um, I'd become a motivational speaker after no experience at all and all the rest of it. It's a really great story, so I'll cut to the chase. And basically, I discovered that my success was due to networking and building relationships and people liking me because I'm very likable. And then a couple of years after I started, you know, making the business work, Dave actually realised that he didn't know anybody in Waterloo Region, did you, Dave? That's very true. <laughs> and so Dave decided he'd go to some networking events and he was very shy and didn't like them. So we came up with this and... Um, over the years, we've um, met some wonderful people, helped, I'd say, hundreds and hundreds of people either start a business or move from job to job if they didn't like the job they had, the work they had. And um, as I say, we've spoken at lots of the universities and colleges, and um, we offer an awful lot of support, don't we, Dave? We do. We do. I mean, essentially, uh, we were very... I guess, uh, excited that we can share some of the expertise, not that just that we've got, but to actually try and connect people with expertise within the community. So uh, as small business owners, you know, many of us, uh, we, we certainly rely on so many other people, uh, whether that's either directly in terms of services that we need or whether it's knowledge or, or tips and ideas. So, uh, you know, we were very, I think, um, early proponents of trying to connect people together. Yeah. And, um, we realised when we were doing in-person um, events that it's lovely meeting each other, but we wanted to offer our members in particular, because they paid us money, even though we help people who don't pay us money, the chance to use our website to post their content, and content is king still. It gets you really good um, exposure and the search engines can find you. Um, obviously, we have a members directory, but we also love doing events and um, we do those with um, our members. We do podcasts and we do videos. I'm going to let Sergey in because he's really nice. Yeah, and we've uh, we've also um, we've also figured out who Galaxy Tab A is. It's uh, it's Nick it's Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Welcome. Oh, you let her in. Yes. Oh, nice, Nikki. Let me find her on here. And Sergey. Hello, Hello. Sergey. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, everybody who's new. I'm concentrating tonight. I'm trying to do names. So Sergey, who's just arrived, um, one of the last person to get here. Sergey was one of our members many years ago, weren't you, Angel? Yeah. And you still got the badge from then. And then you left us and you came back. <laughs> yes, I need to find it. Yeah, it's somewhere in my... Uh, pocket lever, yeah. I will take it next you are time. Lovely. <laughs> you are lovely. Um, so is that so, everybody here for now, David? I think so, yeah. We're actually looking pretty decent, so yeah, I think so. So is it Tom's turn to say a few words, or am I jumping the gun? Um, well, maybe a little bit. I think maybe we should uh, perhaps just go around and do a quick, uh, quick hello, maybe uh. We'll run around the virtual room. Do you want to do that? So are we doing the introductions? Yeah, it, sure. It's not quick. Everybody has a chance to say who they are, if they're at college, if they've um, got a business, and, you know, if they've got an event, they can share that with us as well. How so who we, should we start how with? Are, we are you going to be the shepherd of this this great okay. endeavor? Linda? I'm going to do my, my easy way out, and I'm going to start with um, – the first person on my list who happens to be Austin Ayers or Ayers? Correct. Ayers, yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, hi, my name is Austin Ayers. I am a soon to be business administration management <laughs> graduate, and I have an interest in gaining additional knowledge about operating a small business. Wow. Well, you're in That's the right good. place. Yeah. And um, is this your first networking event? Yes, it is. Well, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the next person on my list is the lovely Janet Benedict. You're doing it alphabetically. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it's the list. <laughs> so, 
As Linda says, my name is Janet Benedict. I know most of you. And my company is the Canadian Networker. And that connects a lot of people. I do, I do a lot of the same things as Linda and uh, Dave do and connect and do some coaching and um, podcasts and video shows. It's fun. Uh, Janet um, has always been a great support to the SBCN, so thank you, Janet. We really appreciate it. Um, Nicole Cox, can you wave so I can see where you are, Nicole? Because I'm useless. Hi! <laughs> Galaxy. Hi, Miss Galaxy. <laughs> Would you like to tell us who you are and what you do, Angel? Oh, She's we can't. Mute. You have to unmute. Now, let's see if we do that. How about there now? Go. Yes. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm Nicole Cox. I go by Nikki. I own DCA Deliveries. We do delivery for restaurants, people. Now we just started a niche furniture market as well. And uh, we do groceries, pharmacies, flowers, pretty much everything. Cool. That's perfect. And we had a little chat about how you've been managing during the COVID, didn't we, Nikki? Yes, and after your chat, some great things happened because I did a lot of uh, stuff you had recommended doing on all my social feeds. And my views on Google went from like 100 and something a month all the way up to we just did 6,476 views this month. Good for you. I'm so proud of you. Nikki was actually a guest on my TV, Sean Rogers as well. And the reason I asked her along is I asked two other people in the food industry as well, and I wanted them to share their expertise with everybody. So thank you, Nikki. I really appreciate that. Well, thank you. That conversation we had helped me a lot. I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> so the lovely Karen Egoff, where is Karen? She's got the green hair, of course. <laughs> I'm Karen Egoff of My Soul Balance. I'm a Reiki master. I can do energy work online or in person. And a testimonial, I, quickly, I had someone with a heart issue in Thailand, and his mom wanted me to help him, and he doesn't have that condition anymore. So oh, wow. it doesn't matter where you are, I can get to you. <laughs> And we've known Karen a long time, and um, she's absolutely adorable. I definitely get to know everybody here because we're all amazing. <laughs> oh, God, it's Todd. <laughs> Where's Todd? <laughs> Todd? My angel, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, anyways, Todd Foster with the Mortgage Center. We foster your legacy. It starts with your mortgage. Uh, I'll go a little bit more in depth on what I do in our presentation as I will be presenting later on today. Uh, but stay tuned for a great presentation, not just mortgages. Uh, I'm not here to bore you with numbers, but uh, the presentation we'll be working on uh, is about no cost marketing for your business. So I have to say Todd's very good at um, doing a lot of things such as video emails and stuff like that. So I'll definitely connect with Todd and pick his brain. Tom Fournier, where is Mr. Tom? I know he's here somewhere. On my screen, I'm up at the top. Yeah, on my screen, I can't <laughs> see. <laughs> Carry on, Tom. <laughs> Hi, uh, Tom Fournier. My company is the Shades Mills Group, where I do uh, business consulting, so help with business strategy, uh, focus a lot on uh, business to business uh, sales models and, and sales strategies. And Tom, after our introduction, you're going to be saying a few words, aren't you, dear? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that. Who's the lucky person? Nicole Greco. I hope I'm saying your, right, your name right, my dear. Nicole? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, sometimes people add like an extra E, but no, you, you got it right. So that was great. Thank you. And thank you for coming along tonight. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. I uh, see a few familiar faces here, which is great. Um, but uh, so my name's Nicole and I'm with the Guelph Nighthawks. So we're the newest sport entertainment option in the region. It's men's professional basketball. Um, so, I mean, I'm in sales. Uh, so do a lot of networking, but we're a really small staff. So sometimes when people hear sports team, they think it's like big business, but we're, we're a startup just the same. So, uh, yeah. 
Oh, we should chat, Nicole. We might have some opportunities for you, Angel. For sure. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, we'll set up a time. Um, who is next? Nadia. I'm sorry, Nadia. I can't say your last name. Can you say it, Dave? Oh, Nadia Gutkina. Thank you, my darling. Would you like to introduce yourself? Which you've just done anyhow, but tell us about yourself. Uh, so uh, I'm a graphic designer and I, I have been working in the field of graphic design for the last uh, several years. I lost my job due to COVID back in March. And uh, while looking for a new job, I decided to uh, work as well as a freelancer, as graphic designer. And now I'm also starting uh, uh, social media marketing. Wow. I have a uh, few customers, very few now, but uh, so far I'm trying both find a job and do my own business. That's remarkable. Well done. And again, we have a lot of resources in the room. So, you know, pick one, pick all of them. It's entirely up to you. Everybody's wonderful. Um, Nathan, where's Nathan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding up here at the top of the screen. I can see you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. I'm Nate Hager. I own a company called getpast.ca. Uh, as it says on my screen, I'm a hypnotist. So I show people how to use their brain to the fullest potential. So if you have, let's say you want to change your eating habits, you want to quit smoking, you have other bad habits. We can do it instead of taking like, you know, months and years to change those bad habits. We can change them in a couple of weeks. Also, too, I want to thank Linda. Um, she sent me over two fantastic clients. So I just want to give her a, a big high five for that. Um, I do have to uh, duck out at um, at 8, though. I've got an Australian uh, Skype call. So I gotta, oh. they're all over the place. So. <laughs> what time is it in Australia at 8 o'clock? Is it, is it tomorrow or today? It's, uh, I forget what time it is there, but I think it's like I think it's like lunchtime or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but... It's uh, yeah, I've, I've got a client over there now, so I gotta I gotta help out. So that's exciting, and um, yeah, the the accent's kind of weird, but it's 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 cool. People ask me if I'm Australian, and I mean, really, I don't Irish. <laughs> I don't see it. By the way, I only introduce people I like and trust, and I'm gonna love all our guests tonight. So I'll obviously refer you in the future. Um, so that is part of networking, getting to know people and refer them. Um, where's Craig? There he is wearing red. Hi, Craig. Hello. Hi there. So, Craig Herner from Ultimate Vision Web and IT Solutions. I do web and IT for mainly small businesses in southern Ontario. And, yeah, that's about it. Well, you don't need to say much because everybody knows you don't make Craig because your brand, you wear your brand, you show your brand, you talk your brand. You're amazing. Thank you. And Craig is one of our ambassadors for the SBC, and he helps us out and normally makes the coffee. Where's the coffee, Craig? Uh, it's in your basement probably, right? <laughs> That's true. Do we have somebody waiting, Dave, <laughs> is my imagination? We have the one and only Mr. Ms. Mr. Ms. Jennifer Muir. Should we let her in? Or I have you let her in? I think we'll let her in today. You let her in. Okay. Um, I will go down my list. Ian, where's my other favourite person, Ian Ingalls? There you are. Hi, everybody. Uh, Ian Ingalls. I'm a real estate broker with uh, Remax Solid Gold in Waterloo. And uh, we're going through some unprecedented times. Uh, who'd have thought that the pandemic would create a real estate market like we're in right now? It's absolutely incredible. I've been in the industry 38 years. So I can honestly say I've never seen anything like this. A lot of this is being caused by a big inequity between supply and demand. I mean, currently on the real estate market, we have probably less than 450 homes for sale in the Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge and surrounding area, which is not a lot. Wow. And a lot of that, the buyers are coming in their droves from out of town. People are coming out of Toronto. People are figuring out that they can work from home now. They don't have to commute all the time. And people are looking at changing homes, so it's more functional for working from home. So at this point in time, prices are continuing to, to rise incredibly. And uh, I'm hoping that we can get some more ho homes on the market because uh, it's, it's great for the sellers. If you have to sell your home currently, you can get a terrific price. Um, I really feel for the buyers right now. 
uh, because every time they, you know, they're seeing homes that are competing between five and 10 offers on every home. Wow. Uh, so it's, it's a really tough time for the buyers. But uh, anyway, if you need any real estate advice about uh, anything to do with real estate, please uh, don't hesitate to contact me. It's great to be here tonight. Thank you, Ian. We appreciate it. Um, I'm going to mess this name up as well. Jason Kohlberger? Yes. <laughs> you, you I hope I didn't do right. bad. <laughs> yes, thank you. My name is Jason Kohlberger. Uh, I recently started up a company called Genemy, which is a play on words, Germ Enemy. And so it's a disinfection uh, service. And I basically go in either commercial or residential properties and apply a hospital grade disinfectant using uh, electrostatic sprayers or fogger type equipment um, so you can get an entire facility disinfected very quickly and efficiently. That's clever. Did you think it was because of COVID or was it before COVID? Well, actually, I had the, the idea. I've always wanted to start it up before COVID. Uh, I've worked with a lot of clients that sell disinfectants and that are even clients with PPE products. And so I've always been in that industry. But since COVID started, obviously, I saw the need um, and felt it's something that I'd enjoy doing and that uh, provide a, a service that's required out there. So I have a question, if you don't mind, if people don't mind. So I guess you're doing a roaring trade during COVID. Do you think it will continue after COVID? I, I believe so. Uh, I think it's like a, a change in the whole mindset uh, around the need to have, you know, a high level uh, sanitization at least and disinfection of, you know, certainly high volume traffic kind of commercial enterprises at least and especially like daycares and schools. I think it's going to be an ongoing uh, need and hopefully people have the budget for it going forward but uh, I think it's a mindset change it's it's going to last for a while okay so we'll set up a, um, a chat as well if you don't mind because I may have some introductions for you perfect thank you uh, where are we it's Mr. Gunther Kramer where is he hiding wave to Linda <laughs> there he <laughs> Hi. Hi everyone. yeah so my name is Gunther Kramer and my company is Gecko Websites mm -hmm. And this year, we're actually celebrating 25 years in business. Uh, we did have an event back in February, which uh, we had a huge snowstorm, but uh, we're still impressed how many people braved the weather to come out and celebrate with us. And we said, well, because of the snowstorm, we're going to do another celebration in the summer. But because of COVID, now that's not working out. So just like everybody else, our plans are shifting. Uh, and speaking of plan shifting, uh, we have a lot of our clients who are having to shift as well, who are in business. And so that's been keeping us very, very busy. Uh, people are realizing that uh, online is the way to do business and they're really upping their game. So we've been uh, quite busy as well and, and happy to help everybody out as much as we can. Well, you've got a great brand, both of you. Um, Maxine, I'm going to come to you later so that gives you a break in between what your other half just said. Is that a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> so, Sylvia, where's our lovely Sylvia? I know she's here. I saw her face. There she is. I brought my sign along. I own a company called Shea Sylvie Design. And what I do is I have a retail uh, chalk paints that are called Dixie Bell. And they come from Florida. They're manufactured in Florida. And I also uh, paint and refurbish furniture. So I upsell older antique furniture so it doesn't go in the uh, waste baskets and I teach people how to paint um, and how to decorate and I make signs as well like Christmas signs, uh, signs for your door, signs for your porch, signs for everywhere. <laughs> oh like wow, that. we know where to come for signs so I'm very proud of you. Um, you're doing well my angel. Okay, who's after Sylvia? Um, Aaron? Aaron? Hi. Uh, so, yeah, my name's uh, Aaron. Last Aaron. Name is Aaron, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, so I'm currently completing my third year at uh, Conestoga College, uh, where I'm taking business administration management. And uh, after that, I hope to uh, own my own uh, company. Well, stick around. <laughs> we'll all be able to help you because it is about doing business with people you like and trust. Exactly. Right, I'm not going to massacre this next name. So, Dylan, where is Dylan? I know he's here. 
Dylan? Dylan? Have we lost a Dylan? We have lost a Dylan. Is he in the waiting room and we've locked him out? No, he has disappeared. Have we scared him off? Oh, that's a shame. That's scary. He's, he's run away. Oh, that is terrible. I'll okay. Maybe he's having a connection issue, so I'll keep an eye out for him if you want to carry so on. So it's something to do with solve advice. I don't know, some advisors. <laughs> okay. Now it's Maxine's turn. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Maxine, and I am the project manager at Gecko Websites and work side by side with Gunther. I also manage our social media and all the social media for many of our clients and manage our the rest of our uh, contract workers, so the blog writers, the graphic designers that we have, I manage all of that so he can sit back and be the boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You do a great job. You really do. Jacob. Where's Jacob? Hi, I'm uh, Jacob. I'm a third year at Conestoga College as well, as a few other guys here. Uh, I'm also the store manager at a winemaking company that just opened up about a year ago now. So we're... Uh, be celebrating soon uh i'm here for it's mainly just a project but we'll see if if we connect pretty well then who knows <laughs> uh thank you that was amazing i love wine just so you know <laughs> everybody knows that okay chris morris is he still with us chris 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 where is there you are <laughs> can he talk Hi, it's uh, Chris Morris. I'm an independent associate with Legal Shield, and we provide affordable legal services on a subscription model. And we have identity theft protection, which is becoming a huge issue right now, as Dave can attest. Um, and yeah, it's a membership. It's kind of like we call it the CAA of life. So it's uh, basically that's how it operates. And it's a growing business, isn't it? You said it's really growing a lot. Yeah, they're they're putting in over. Well, the the team that I'm on did a thousand memberships last month. That's amazing, and you do such good work as well. Thank you, my angel. Okay, it is me, but I've already talked about me, so you don't want to hear me again. Where's Sergey? There's Sergey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Sergey Pavlov. Uh, my business name is Wenderland.ca uh, Web Directory, and uh, my primary business is uh, digital media. Uh, it uh, includes uh, website mm -hmm. design, uh, search engine optimization, uh, photography, and uh, promotion online. And you've been doing it a very long time, so. Yes, yes, uh, long time, 20 amazing. years. You're amazing. David Schefter, is he, he still with us? Yes, you are. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. Uh, David Schefter, financial advisor at Raymond James. Uh, my office is uh, normally at the corner of Weber and Northfield. Uh, in fact, it still is. However, for the last uh, oh, seven months or so, uh, I, like many of you, have been working from home. Uh, so adapting to kind of the new environment that we, uh, that we find ourselves in. Um, my focus tends to be working with business owners, um, retirement planning. Uh, I'm cross-border licensed, so I do some uh, interesting stuff when it comes to people who have lived on both sides of, uh, of the Canada-U.S. border and have investments on both sides. And um, a big part of what I'm kind of focusing on going forward is socially responsible investing. Um, which is something that more and more people are asking about. And, um, and I wanted to kind of do something with that that I felt was kind of unique. So that, that's something that, um, that I'm increasingly focusing on going forward. And are you ready to announce that you've got some good stuff coming up closer to the end of the year, or are we not ready to announce that yet? Uh, no, we, we can we can definitely announce it. So I am going to be doing some webinars for the winter, um, more or less on a monthly basis. Um, the first of those is going to be either at the very end of November or the very start of December, kind of before everybody gets into, you know, the Christmas spirit and doesn't want to be talking about anything to do with money at all. Um, as if people want to be talking about that to begin with, but 
We're going to be doing that, like I say, end of November, uh, start of December, and then starting up again once we get a couple of weeks into January and kind of leading us through uh, through the winter. We're going to cover a lot of different topics. And uh, what I'm working on right now is just trying to figure out the order of what I want to talk about and trying to make it, I, I want to make it fun. I want to make it interesting. Um, we're all on Zoom a lot and... Uh, it, it can be tiring. So what I'd like to do is kind of make it interactive and, and something that people will be able to take something from and, uh, and work on on their own. So stay tuned. Well, Dave and myself have attended one of your seminars and we, well, I'm thinking, oh God, it's going to be so boring. It was one of the best seminars I've attended, so I can definitely recommend it. You are very good at you know presenting and, and making it fun. So thank you. Um, Thank you. Okay. Is Ashwa still with us? Did we lose? No, maybe Ashwa didn't come. Okay, then. So we have Lucy, Lucy Yang. Where's our Lucy? I'm here. Hi, everyone. I'm Lucy. I'm based in downtown Toronto. Uh, so I, I recently started working uh, on a, a payment platform helping small and medium sized businesses to pay overseas suppliers. It's, it's not launched yet, but uh, the plan is to, uh, to launch it in, in quarter one next year. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Now, put your hand up if I forgot anybody because I'm a bit blonde. Yeah, there's a few people that have joined since we started. So I see, uh, I see both Jennifer Muir and, uh, and Marion as well. So why don't we start with Marion for a change? Yes, please. Sorry, girl. Sorry. Hi, everybody. I am Marion Monet, and it's nice to see some of your faces again. It's been quite a while. Um, I am a local realtor around the KW region, um, specialize, I guess, in resale homes. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm a realtor. And we haven't seen you, I think, since the first Zoom, have we? Yeah, since COVID hit, I've been kind of MIA, so I apologize, but I know. I don't family blame. and life. I just miss you. I think you're the, well, I love everybody, but we got on so well when we had our one-on-one -on -one before COVID, didn't we? So yeah. we, are the children in bed? Yeah, I can hear one of them a little bit whining, but one of them's in bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> and David, I forgot to ask, how's the baby? She is doing very, very well. She has been, I think we are the whole month of October so far, knock on wood. She's been sleeping more or less through the night. So that's uh, wonderful. We were, saying to, we were saying to a friend that we want to get her to bed maybe a little bit earlier and stuff like that. And they said, honestly, like if she's going to sleep through the night and she's not three months old, like do not change anything. Don't, don't rush it. Don't rush it. Keep doing what you're doing. You do. I saw some photos. She's adorable. And where's Jennifer? Miss Jenny. <laughs> One special guest cat. Hello. Yes. Uh, yeah. And my cat. <laughs> oh, oh, that's lovely. Hey, hello. Um, yeah, hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Um, okay. So uh, I am a birth and postpartum doula um, and also a childbirth educator and a car seat technician. So very specialized in expecting in new families. Um, for me, um, I have been so busy, surprisingly, um, throughout COVID. Um, so it's been, yeah, sometimes I've missed a couple of meetings here, which I always uh, miss. Um, so I'm really happy that I was able to make it tonight. Thank you. And um, if there is anybody in the room that wants to know any more about anybody here, obviously, if you can't connect here, please ask me and I'll connect you because I've got a list of everybody. Dave, would you like to tell people about how wonderful you are? Well, I, I don't, I don't want to scare them off too much. Uh, just actually, I'm going to just trigger on something you just said. So, if uh, if you guys want to drop your contact details in the chat, so that uh, oh, yeah. it's a little bit easier to connect uh, after this, and people that's can a good drop. idea. Yeah, feel free. I see, uh, I see a couple of folks have already. Uh, great idea. So, uh, if you want to jump, that was in, Tom's like, idea. I think he's yeah, amazing. Do that. It's a great suggestion. Um, okay, a little bit about me. So I wear a, uh, a variety of hats, some of which are fashionable, many of which are not. Um, so by day, I actually work for a cybersecurity company called Arctic Wolf. Uh, and um, essentially, I am tasked with keeping a cybersecurity company secure, which sounds a little bit like a dentist with bad teeth, right? You know, the old adage, 
the dentist always has terrible teeth. Uh, well, cybersecurity companies are much the same, right? We need to make sure that we protect ourselves so that we can protect our clients. Um, as well as that, I also have a consulting business that I run on the side, again, in the cybersecurity space. So basically applying a lot of the same things, but to smaller businesses. Uh, so I, I spend a, a great deal of time doing that. And of course, together with Linda, we look after the SPCN here. So uh, that's a little bit about me. Um, the only thing I will say is uh, I have some very, very cool news, uh, which I'm going to be sharing with the whole world tomorrow. So oh, tomorrow. Me on social media, I can't tell you yet, but uh, I can tell you in the morning. So uh, see what I have to say then. That's a big tease. I know, so right? I think we hand it over to Tom now, don't we? Yes, we have our business power up session led by the one and only Mr. Tom Fournier. Uh, do we need to uh, to di give you any control of slides or anything, Tom? Nope, I'm going to do it with props here in the office. So, oh, cool. Back on. All right. <laughs> All right take um, and then I'm going to use a, a banana to illustrate the the point I want to make. So. Um, you can find an article on the SBN, SBCN website. I'll post a link in, in a moment where I talk about uh, what a banana can tell us about, about sales strategy. And especially if you've been in business for, for a little while, uh, I think the banana is a good illustration of not getting trapped in, into thinking the way you know is the only way that, that it can possibly be done. Uh, you know, I, I've seen a post online and someone was talking about how do you peel a banana? And I'm sorry, this is kind of a grody looking one, but, you know, I've always at this end of the banana went to peel it and then found that uh, it didn't always break. You mash the banana a bit or I'd make a little cut and go to peel it. But then I, I saw this article and it said animals in the wild – actually peel the banana from this end quite easily. So um, I, I thought, what a perfect illustration. So, you know, you, how many times do we do things, especially in our businesses, because it's the way we've always done it or it's the only way we know. So, you know, just open your minds and, and be ready to think about other, you know, business ways forward or different paths forward. So That's that is that. So that banana. And I'm sure a lot of us here who've been in business a while feel the same and we know change is good apart from COVID. COVID is not good. <laughs> is this the exciting bit now, Dave? Well, exciting, terrifying, your choice of word I'll leave up to, to each and every one of you. So um, for those that have been to one of our virtual events before, you know we have a thing called Roundtable Roulette. Uh, it's a little bit different this time around, um, but essentially we have created a series of breakout rooms. So what we're going to ask you to do is, uh, rather than me actually assigning you to rooms like we've done in the past, we're going to let you guys choose which room you want to go into. So let me just explain how this is going to work. We have six different breakout rooms uh, with some hopefully ghoulish names. Um, so pick, uh, pick whichever one you feel like joining. Um, once you're in the room, um, you have about 10 minutes, so we'll leave them open for about 10 minutes. And I would suggest you use that time, A, to get to know people in the room, especially people that maybe you don't know so well already. Um, but B, to actually maybe ask and answer a few questions. So I've, I've jotted down a couple here that might be you know, useful to get you going, but don't by all means think that this is an exhaustive list. But uh, maybe you can ask, you know, what kind of challenges your business has and, and what kind of help you need to get over those challenges. Conversely, what kind of help and, and support can you provide? And that may not be just the service or the, uh, the product that you sell, but the expertise that you've built up in your business along the way. Um, another one could be the very simple, what kind of referrals are you looking for? So if you do need people for your, your business, what are those people? What do they look like? Where are they and how do you get them? So I would suggest using the time to answer those and other questions. As I say, we'll have about 10 minutes. Now, for those that are not super familiar with the, meet the breakout rooms, at the bottom of your Zoom screen, um, I believe there is a button that says breakout rooms. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't see one. No. Don't no. See one. Okay, this is going to go awesome. 
see if I can do this. I just oh, see my. leaves. There yeah, it is. It's there. It's there. Yeah. Do you guys? Yeah, it's there. See? Yeah, it's there. Yep. Okay. Nope. Still don't have one. No. I don't see no. it. I don't oh, have one. A few I've minutes. got it. You've got it? Okay. Yeah. I got it. Not on Mine's at the top. Yeah, you've got to make sure the black bottom bit is showing so you can see the room. No, yeah, doing I that, don't, I see, don't it. see it. Oh, you don't? What can you see on the bottom of your screen then, guys, those of you who can't see it? In, in the center, participants. participants, chat, share screen, record, reactions. Oh, okay. Please. What time I'm sure that's at the for top. Those that can can't stop the video. I can see it. Okay. Yeah. So record and reactions. If you uh, if you click that, you should see six rooms called pumpkin, ghost, goblin, spirit, ghoul, and broomstick. Is Isn't that what you see? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, something's working. Holy cow! Okay, so for those that do see it, um, feel free to click on one of those rooms, and I think you can click a button that says join, or you can right click and do join. Like that I'm not 100 percent sure. This is the know. first time we've done it this way, so bear yeah. with us. It's usually me putting in rooms. Okay, so Craig has figured it out because he's gone to the spirit room. Hold your jokes, people. Okay, so if anyone else figures this out. Oh, yep, Jason has done it. He's jumped Yay! into the room, so we're beginning to go. And then what we'll do, whoever's left... Um, I'll just read out the names of the rooms. You can tell me where you'd like to go, and I will magically transport you there using the magic of Zoom. How does that sound? <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, people are getting uh, getting into some rooms. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at this. And, Todd, you've got 10 minutes, so no moaning. Yes, we raised the limit just for you, Todd. <laughs> It wasn't just Todd asking for that. Oh. Okay, Tom, no moaning. <laughs> <laughs> I never moan. Come on. <laughs> okay, so for the rest of the folks that are still with us, do you see that um, that breakout room button or no? No. 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 That's weird. It's still not. <laughs> no? Okay. Who would like to go to the pumpkin room? Show of hands. <laughs> Okay. okay, so we've got Nicole, the Gecko folks. Hang on, let me uh, let me go here. And we've got uh, Nicole. <laughs> let me transport you there if you as don't well. come back, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> right. Now, I happen to see that the ghost room is currently empty, so I'm going to just randomly pick on a few. I see a, see a nice hand there from Karen. She's going to open the ghost room. Excellent. Send Todd there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's do I'm that. so mean. Okay, who else are we going? Oh, with the goon and broomstick are still open. So let me uh let me get those open. There we go. And we'll do that one and that one and that one. Dave's having fun making oh, it this just so I go on. Bye. Dave. <laughs> Put yeah. Ian and Aaron, Aaron together. I can't say okay. names, sorry. <laughs> Just trying to move Ian over now. One second. Bye. <laughs> do, do, do. Dick, how are we doing? Oh, I think, I think ghoul and ghost need a little bit more. Come on, ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, because we want some of the guests to mix with some of the non, you know, the people they don't know, sure. like. So then let's do... Oh, where are we now? Well, Can you fill the rooms with more people? We, we, I'm stuffing them in as fast as I can. That sounds. No, goblin, I got this message. In. Join. Pop up message. Join goblin. Yeah. Yeah. Join goblin. Yeah. I'll click that, and you'll you should end well, up. Where's that. Janet going? <laughs> there we Janet's go. Gone. What about Sergey? Sergey is is beaming up as we speak. I think. Oh, hey, can you see Nate's made a hasty exit from his meeting room. Oh, Craig, Craig said, Craig said we're all supposed to leave. Oh, yeah. that was because it took so long to get it set up. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. I kept it open a little bit longer because I knew, knew that. Uh, knew oh, 
taken a bit of a... Don't worry about it. It took we'll, so we'll, long we'll, to get it set we'll up. Sorry, guys. We'll chat with you, yeah. Yeah, come and slum it with us. For sure. <laughs> so we've yeah. done breakout rooms before, but never like this. So, Dave, we can only practice it when everybody gets here. We can't do beforehand because we never know how many people. Are you enjoying it, Nate? Mm-hmm. First I like time? it. Yeah. yeah, it's quite interesting. It's, I mean, I don't really do the whole, like, this is actually the first time I've done online networking. It's tiring yeah. and hard work, but because everybody's so amazing, we always enjoy it. Yeah, no, this is, no, this is cool. All right. Well, I'll beginning to come back. So this time, Dave, just do it straight away so they get 10 minutes. Yeah, it's always a little tricky, this this breakout room thing. I may have to fire you, David. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I thought you were doing a bait and switch. We got in there. It was only like six minutes left. I know. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it took a while to get everyone in the rooms. And unfortunately, once oh, the okay. rooms were we used four minutes up on that. I'll tell you a funny story, if you like, while we're waiting. We used to order coffee from a coffee shop by City Hall. I won't name who they are. And they kept bringing the coffee. We wanted it there for quarter to seven because we started at seven in person before COVID. And this is quite a few years ago. And they kept bringing it when we were doing the seminar and people wanted coffee before. And so I complained the first time nicely and they made all these excuses, did it again the second time. I complained again nicely. And the third time when I said, we're paying for the coffee and we're getting it late, they fired me. They wouldn't give me coffee because I complained because they were late. So we're a great organisation compared to them. <laughs> Aren't we, dearest? <laughs> well, we have our moments. Okay, so I think I am going to close all of the rooms so we can bring everybody back and then we'll open them up again so you can have a chance at uh, having a chat with some different people. So the- can well, that's you... weird. Not, I have that breakout rooms icon on the menu now. Can everybody see the icon yeah. now? Yeah, I, I can see it now. Because yeah, that means you, you can choose your own room if you want to. Okay, so I... Well, now it's disappeared. Oh. Oh. I, I lost mine. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gone, it Dave. There. It's gone, Dave. It did. Really. I'm just closing the rooms up, so it might disappear. Oh, it might disappear, oh. and then it come back, hopefully. Yeah, it's open. Once everyone's back, I'll get them set up again, and off we go. We do our best. <laughs> Those yeah. are good. Enjoy the breakouts. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I think they're a lot more fun for you, Tom, than they are for us. <laughs> <laughs> Will they come back? Have they gone to the moon? Yeah. Does it work? <laughs> Have I pressed the right button? Have I disconnected everyone? <laughs> it's like it's like being on Star Trek and get beamed. Yeah, up, we somehow got lost in cyberspace. <laughs> Transporter. Yeah. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> we get you in the right place, like where we were hoping that you would go. So, all right. So, folks are going to start piling in in a few seconds. So, we'll wait for them to come in. So, then will the icon come back? It should do when I've got the rooms. Well, folks. Really yeah. Sorry, Todd. Um, Dave messed up. My goodness, middle of a conversation with Jen. Oh. <laughs> and, and what I needed to learn about how to pivot my business, and you just cut me out. Oh, oh. Not again. Oh. We didn't even get to talk to Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> my, my heart bleeds. It genuinely does. So where's <laughs> our icon gone? Well, give me a minute, because uh, my... Oh, this is grand. Um... Okay, let's recreate all these because that's clearly gone wrong. You should give this job to Craig Hermit. He's good at this, aren't you, Craig? I know. <laughs> He's Craig. There's Craig. Oh, okay. right, sorry, folks, I have to type it all in again. Now, I know um, if Nate hasn't already gone, is, is Nate nope. still here? I'm still here. Okay, if you've got to go, Angel, we totally understand. We love you to bits and we should have a catch up, coffee, virtually, me and you, privately, without all these people. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I've got four minutes. I I I can hang out till then. Okay, we really appreciate it. It's lovely to see Thanks. you. Okay, I'm very close. Ta-da! Come on. So if I- you can see the I can't see the icon, but when it comes back you should be able to choose your own spookiness. Right. Let's make it not closed rooms this time, kids. There's no eye. Oh, there it is. Can anybody see the icon this time? There it is. Yep. 
Nope. So choose a room, whichever room you want. I don't know what icon you guys are seeing. I don't see it. Now. I don't it's see it. Nothing. It's funny it was there that one time. But yeah, it was. When we came back, it was there. Yeah. That's it must be the gremlins are out tonight. It is. <laughs> How come he's in black and white? Yeah, black and white. How come you're in black and white? I think it's just the, the light in the room. Light, yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's a vintage look. What can I say? <laughs> pretty old, you know. <laughs> okay. well, he went back in time. <laughs> That's funny. Back to the future. So, is anybody able to choose a room or no? Yeah, you somebody, forgot your anniversary, uh, so I thought maybe you went back. <laughs> I can't see any rooms. Yeah, yeah. No, room for me. no, no rooms. No, no rooms. rooms. No room. room at the end. Depends of what computer system you have, Apple or. <laughs> no room for you. No room for you. Has anybody got a stiff drink for me? I need one. <laughs> no, Linda. Yeah, go to the spirit <laughs> room. Andrew <laughs> <laughs> and Maxina got it figured out. Yeah, Gecko's got it figured out all night. Yeah, so, that's the way to do it. Has Gunther made me a nice dinner before this, so I had to have my glass of wine. Oh, don't make me jealous. <laughs> right. Gunther, where's my dinner? Nobody in the room can see the icon, so does anybody want to connect with anybody special? Can you manage that, Dave, or no? Well, I, can, I can't take requests, so I'll oh. tell you what I'll do. I will move you folks into a room. If you want to move to a different room once you're there, I think you can do that. Give that uh, a go, then. So I'll, uh, I'll give this a try. I'll I'm going to get here. hypnotized. I know, right? <laughs> He's going to have to do it in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, nice. That's okay. These ones don't expire. So we always told me he was quick. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'll speak to you later, <laughs> Todd, Todd Foster. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm off to Pumpkin. Bye. Oh, folks. Oh, I almost sent Linda to somewhere then. <laughs> She's not going to like me for that. Don't send me anywhere. Okay, and then do, 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 to there. Into I'd be scared if finish. I was a guest, I would. I'd be worried about what you're going to do with me. Yeah, I'm worried too. <laughs> there we go. I think that everyone should have an invitation to join a room. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, yeah, we should get some people coming back. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh, my God, that was a little rough, but we're back. <laughs> oh, what happened? It was a little bumpy coming back there. <laughs> <laughs> was it a rough ride? What's happening next time? <laughs> Did we all Lovely enjoy guy. that? Let, wave to Linda if you enjoyed it. Please wave. Please wave. <laughs> Thank oh, you, God. guys. I appreciate that. Obviously, while you were gone, we were working hard, weren't we just? <laughs> That's that's exactly what we were doing. <laughs> uh, right. So I make it about uh, 10 minutes after 8. According to our agenda, we're looking for our speaker at 20 minutes past 8. And that gives us about 9 minutes. So who would like one more go <laughs> in the rooms? Can I get a thumbs up, a wave, or something? Sure. There we go. So we've got sure. a few people. All right. So let me try this one more time. <laughs> I have to rename them all again. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. I uh -oh. can I can hear our kitten clawing at my office door. You can. For those of you who don't know, we let have a in. let me in, Linda. <laughs> no, she'll eat everything. <laughs> we have a COVID kitten. We adopted her um, a few months ago. She's seven months old now, and she's a little terror, isn't she, Dave? <laughs> yeah, I'm convinced the only thing that we haven't tried that we're going to need is probably to get a priest to perform an exorcism. <laughs> yeah. hey, Linda, are you a Christmas person? Because don't expect to have a tree. I went down this path last year. This is why Dave is crying. We normally have about five trees in the oh, house. So, yeah, they, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it last year. I had it up. He kept climbing it. They, both of them, I have two. I think I might put it in my bedroom this year. No, that, I'm, I'm so sad. I, I love Christmas and uh, all right. I have a tree. All right, folks. Well, I am about to open the rooms. So for those that know how to, uh, to get in their rooms, feel free 
and uh, we'll wait for you to move off, and then for the rest of you, I'll uh, I'll get my magical teleporting skills. And then Mr. Todd will pres- be presenting afterwards. Yes, indeed. I'm cleaning my desk as I talk. <laughs> Having a little tidy up. Is it okay if I go for a five-minute break? Of course it is, my own. Yeah, by all means. I'm going to skip this room, and I'm going to just go check on my family, make sure everything's all good for about five minutes. I'll come back no for worries. the next we hope uh, to see you. Okay, otherwise Todd will cry. We'll just leave you here with Linda and I. How's that for a punishment? <laughs> oh, that's not a punishment. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll be back in five minutes. Yep, we look no forward problem. to seeing you. Okay, does everybody need a room <laughs> i think so this is getting yep. progressively worse as i go through so uh it's a shame that thing doesn't show for everybody i don't know why it doesn't it shows it doesn't show on mine here but it shows on my zoom it's a shame eh? isn't it weird it must isn't be it like weird? a weird setting maybe or or maybe zoom's just being weird you never know zoom well, I see it intermittently, usually when we're coming or going, but then it doesn't stay. That's strange. So, so strange. Mm-hmm. Same with me, Tom. Exact same. Did you pay the bill? Yeah, they just <laughs> take it every month. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm very honest, am I? <laughs> yeah, they take mine too. Yeah, that's usually how it works. So they just keep on taking, right? Until you're like, please let me let me not have this money being taken. Yeah, I have to go check my settings when we wrap up. Maybe I have to ena- enable it or something. I don't know. All right, I'm off to broomstick. We'll see you in a minute, and then we'll be overawed by Todd's presentation. Well, <laughs> He's not smiling. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, I was in ghoul before. I'm going back to the ghouls. Oh, can you move rooms, Janet? Oh, no, it's okay. I don't mind. I think it's I'm sure there won't be the same ghouls in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Fun. <laughs> no, we're going to get stuck with Dave and Linda. Oh. <laughs> we get the privilege of with Dave and Linda. No, she said that before. We're going to get stuck. And it's like, oh, okay. oh no, we're going to Pumpkin. Bye. <laughs> I've got to look after the cat. She's clawing. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you're all enjoying this evening. We're looking forward to Todd's presentation. We don't actually know what he's presenting on. He's surprising us tonight. So um, (laughs) it'll be great. He's a great presenter. Welcome Uh, back, everybody. uh, It must have been another bumpy ride, Ian. (laughs) It was another one. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the back of the plane who's <laughs> uh, piloting this plane yeah don't, don't trust oh, that was a air <laughs> yeah, you years in the aviation industry I'd have learned a little bit about flying a plane but you'd be wrong <laughs> well in back to the future the, the date change is October 21st so it's October 21st ah. <laughs> 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 Are we all returned from the? I know we've lost um, last night. So Todd, do you need anything from us, Todd? I need to share my screen. Okay, well, I can right. do that for you. So I think. Let me just work uh, it out now. He says, "I think we just do this." You're going to be a co-host, I think. Let's see if that works. Ooh, I'm a co-host now. You have the power. Uh-oh. No. Let's see if that works for screen sharing or not. It was there earlier. There it is. Oh, there it is. Nice one. Perfect. So everyone can see everything and you can all hear me? Yes. Yes. Perfect. So uh, my name's Todd Foster with the Mortgage Center. Uh, I thought I could talk a whole lot about mortgages since there's a whole lot of changes in the mortgage space, but I thought... Uh, as a small business community network that we have here, I would do my best to try to benefit everyone here, whether it's a someone trying to start a business uh, or someone who's already been in business. And uh, I'll touch more on that. And uh, I want to make this a little bit uh, interactive. So if you have questions, put them in the chat. And maybe uh, Linda and Dave could monitor the chat for me. Uh, Dave, that's your job. That would be great. So 
Uh, my one little thing about mortgages is um, a big one that's happened is folks with mortgages, their bank, where they have their existing bank accounts, when you sign up for a bank account with the bank, there's actually a contract agreement. Most people don't notice this. Well, it allows the bank uh, to take money out of your bank account if you owe them any type of debts. So if you had a late payment on a mortgage and you didn't actually accept the deferral program, banks were taking money out of your bank account. So it's called the right of offset. They have the right to offset their debts that you owe to them. So one of the smart things to do is maybe not have your mortgage with your bank. If you want to learn more about that, call me or send me a DM on uh, LinkedIn or uh, Instagram. But we'll get now into the fun stuff. No cost marketing for your business. So we know that money is top of mind for a lot of businesses right now. And uh, a lot of folks are trying to reach out to different clients or, or reach their target markets in different ways. And we know that there can be a lot of costs associated with that. So I just thought I would touch base on some of the, the variables and the, the different methods I'm using uh, that are costing me nothing. Very first one, social media. I hope everyone is using social media. If you are not, please speak with Linda. She is the social sweetheart and get on social media. Now, <laughs> for some folks, social media is scary. So what you need to do is actually get social on social media. It's one thing to have a Facebook page. It's one thing to have an Instagram page. But if you're not socializing, you're not doing anything. So get social. We're in a world where we are networking now on a computer screen as we are right now. So make sure that you're getting social. What does that mean? Commenting, liking posts. Why? Well, that engages the other folks on social media, but it also promotes your activity in different social media threads. So what does that mean? Well, if Linda makes a post on LinkedIn and I like it and comment on it, well, there's going to be folks in her network and as well as my network that will see that interaction. And those folks may not be in each other's uh, circle of influence. So now we are exposing our networks to everyone. As well, social media has so many different platforms. Find one and just use one that's comfortable for you. It doesn't need to be scary. I absolutely love Instagram and LinkedIn. Facebook is very prominent for a lot of folks. Uh, I grew up with it uh, in university. I don't like to use it for business, so I don't have a business page. A lot of people will tell me I'm nuts, but I'm not comfortable using it for, for business, so I don't. So find a platform that you like and, and that you can manage, because if you can't manage it, well, then it's not going to benefit you in any way. Lastly, social media allows you to connect with others. So we have networking events like we are right now, but if we didn't have this, uh, this, this platform, the Zoom platform, we can use social media to connect with others. And just a simple uh, a click of a button to connect with someone and send them a message. Hey, I, I saw that you were connected to one of my friends. I thought I would reach out and see if there was any way I could help you. So is everyone clear on social media? Any questions? Uh, Joe, we have one question from our audience. Okay. Uh, why don't you like using Facebook for business? The reason I don't like using f Facebook for business is I find that everyone is on Facebook. And I, I don't want to be mixed in with all that other stuff, so to speak. Um, I find personally when I scroll through Facebook now, from what it was when I was in university and only university students could have it, to what it is now, there is a lot of fluff and a lot of scrolling. And I know personally, I miss stuff just because I'm just scrolling. And I would hate to put a lot of time and effort into something and just have someone scroll past it. Uh, 
I know there's a lot of benefit to Facebook, just my personal preference. I hope, I hope that answers the question well enough. I don't want to scare people. Something? Yes. I think you've made a very wise decision because in the business you're in, more than ever, it's about trust because everybody's trying to sell mortgages and basically who do we choose? On the other hand, playing devil's advocate, I tend to put my um, placeholder in the way of my name on most um, platforms now just so I'm there, even if I'm not active. And I know it's good to be active, but we can't be active with everything. So not in your case, but in my case, you'll find me on most of the social media platforms because then people will know who I am and what I do. So I guess, and Facebook is more social, isn't it? And it has gone a bit kind of, what's the word, Todd? Silly. So I totally agree with, you know, why you're not using it. Thank you for letting me interrupt. <laughs> But okay, it's gotten very political, so I want to just try to stay away from the politicalness of it all. So, yeah, I agree. Um, so, we actually have one more question if we can just squeeze one more in. Sorry, yeah, plenty yes. of time. Uh, question is Do you recommend spending money on ads within social media? Um, I will, I, I will say it depends. Uh, for me, if you know your target market and you are making your content directly to them. I don't think personally you need to do a lot of ads. At the same sense, if you're if you're new uh, new to an area, new to an industry, it might make sense to promote uh, promote a, a, a content post that you have. And I know there's uh, multiple computer people here, uh, specifically the Gecko websites. Gunther and Maxine can maybe touch on it more. Um, but in terms of ad spend, sometimes if you find a post that does really well, maybe putting five, ten dollars behind it might might help spread your net. Um, in my personal business, I don't want to spread my net to everyone. There's a unique type of client I want, and I and I know that client, so I try to try to focus my content towards that as opposed to just simple ads. Good point. I hope that helps. Perfect. So number two, no cost. Volunteer. So I know that a lot of us are at home and um, I had a great chat with Karen and, and Jen and we were talking about the different stresses going on with COVID. Well, I've always volunteered, but I found that with COVID, volunteering has actually really helped me with my mental health. It has allowed me to uh, escape the, the work environment. And so I found organizations that are of interest to me. So I'm sure there are many things that you enjoy i know i know um tom really enjoys his history so finding different organizations that you could uh, get yourself involved with myself i'm involved with kitchener minor hockey have tons of fun what does that allow me to do well it allows me to build on my strengths so i find myself to be a good communicator and i can continue to build on that uh so for yourself you might want to build build on the on your particular strengths and build some confidence while maybe finding a volunteer organization uh, may help yourself. Uh, working on weaknesses as well. Uh, I've also belong to the, the mascots committee of Kitchener Waterloo Oktoberfest. Well, I've I've grown up dealing with many different walks of life, but uh, it's fun trying to deal with many walks of life when everyone's drunk. <laughs> so I found that that's, it's, it's really helped me in terms of patience and trying to understand drunken people trying to get at Uncle Hans. So. Uh, you can also use volunteering to, to work on some of your weaknesses. It doesn't necessarily need to be um, coming to networking events. And lastly, one of the, one of the things that uh, Craig Herner uh, touched on, um, but I've uh, really, really been pushing lately, is setting up a fundraising initiative. It doesn't take much, but maybe you, you go out and on your social media and you promote that, hey, I would like to raise $50 for the KW Humane Society. Well, people will see that you're doing that, but guess what? The Humane Society is going to reach out to you or you're going to reach out to the Humane Society to get that initiated. So now all of a sudden you're networking without really networking and it's benefiting more than just yourself. So that's one of the things I would suggest to do and it costs no money. And if you do have to put any money towards it, well, it's a tax write-off. So that's one of the things I've thought about. I know Craig with Hockey Helps the Homeless is 
been talking about that, and we'll talk more about that in uh, weeks to come. Any questions in regards to volunteering? Perfect. This is a big one. Existing clients. Uh, existing clients know, love, and trust you. So let's try to reach out to them. It's free. Emails, newsletters. There's constant contact. There's um, MailChimp. Uh, one of the biggest things that I've really started to do lately is um, calling and texting clients. But one of the keys that I've been doing is I've been texting a voice note. It is very powerful to let your clients hear your voice. We're in a world where we're not seeing them all the time. So just sending them a nice reminder, say, just checking in, just want to make sure that the family's doing well. Nothing to do with mortgages, but they hear my voice. So then another time later, whether it's my, my monthly newsletter, when I do a video, they've now heard my voice again. So again, we're, we're, we're reminding them of, of who I am and they can hear my voice. I'm sure Nate, the hypnotist, can speak more to, to how that would actually influence the subconscious. But uh, I found that calling and texting lately, uh, specifically with those voice notes and leaving a, or leaving a voicemail, have been very powerful. The number of people who respond, through the roof. Um, and then lo looking at your circle of influence. So uh, I was speaking with Jason. He's just trying to get his company up and running. So he may not have a whole client base. Well, use your circle of influence. Friends, family, uh, networks such as the SBCN. Reach out to them and treat them as if they are existing clients. It's amazing what will happen when you start to treat your circle of influence like they're clients. You're going to get a lot of feedback, even if they're not going to become clients. They will give you a ton of information on what you need or should be doing. And the last one I want to talk about is video conferencing, Jitsi Meet. I talked about this when we first went into COVID. I know Tom started using it. It's a video conference software, much like Zoom. However, you can create a link that is very personalized. So it's jitsi.org, uh, and it's a Jitsi Meet, and you can create your own um, video conference. And so, for instance, what I do is I will do uh, Jitsi Meet backslash and then the client's first and last name. So they feel like it's very personalized to them. And then when the meeting's over, they didn't just have a Zoom meeting. They had a meeting with Todd that wasn't called Zoom. What the heck was the name of that? Oh, I better ask Todd. So it's trying to get people to think about yourself and your name. And it's free. It does exactly what Zoom does, but it's free. And number four, free networking, the SBCN. It's great when you can have organizations that offer free networking. Uh, during COVID, uh, I know Dave and Linda have done a great job of pivoting. A lot of us had already made um, payments and renewed our memberships, and they have been generous in helping everyone uh, get through COVID and offer free networking. Look for it. It's, it's, it's in a lot of places. Uh, so SBCN is a perfect example. Another example is Facebook groups. Uh, we all know that uh, Facebook has this group function. Uh, a lot of uh, neighborhood uh, groups have, have their own groups, and they're free to access. So reach out, and you don't need to necessarily sell. Just offer how you can help. That's, that's what, what I've found has been best use of the, the Facebook groups. And then lastly, sorry. And then lastly, uh, reaching out to your industry networks. So I know the, the, in the mortgage world, we have uh, a few different uh, industry networks that are offering free advice and, and free help. Reach out. I'm sure if you're, if you're in the consulting business um, or, or you're in the networking business, I know uh, uh, Janet is a great uh, Canadian networker. I'm sure she's got uh, networks that uh, you could benefit from. So just trying to reach out to different industries uh, or, or your own industry, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of free tools that can that can help you market yourself and, and get in front of other people. So lastly, uh, I have a note here in, in right in front of me. I do it in front of all my meetings. It's just a smiley face to remind me to smile. We've got to try to do our best through COVID. And if you're trying, then that's all we can ask for. Uh, we're all in this together. So let's just try to keep everyone happy and, and help where we can.
So if you have any questions, I can uh, make myself available after the presentation or we can set up a time to uh, talk to see uh, the different things that I've implemented that have been free of charge. So uh, I'm a proud supporter of the SBCN, Todd Foster with the Mortgage Center. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I hope that was, I hope that was a benefit. Way to go. Fabulous. Yeah. Have we got some more questions, Dave? Uh, yeah, we do have a couple here, actually. Um, let's have a quick look. Well, we did, and then my chat window disappeared. Where did it go? <laughs> there it is. Uh, so I think we answered those. Um, no, I think we're actually clear. I thought that was an amazing presentation, Todd, because you simplified it. Um, you included, you know, local businesses. Thank you. We appreciate that. And the other businesses that were mentioned. And you also pointed people in the direction of people you know and trust can help people versus sell to people. So thank you. We really, really appreciate that. And uh, that is why you're successful, Todd, isn't it? Because you're a really authentic person. I do my best. I, I, I try. And I, uh, the biggest goal is trying to help others. So um, I know we get zoomed out. So I really, I hope that this was a benefit, whether the whole thing or even just portions of it. Uh, yeah. I hope people can benefit from it. Yeah. So if I may ask, um, you know, show of hand, like put your hand up if you want to speak. First of all, we've got some students here. Do any of the students want to comment on, you know, if they enjoy enjoyed this networking event and if they'll explore other ones now because it's taken away the fear factor? Do you think it, it can be fun as well as beneficial? Any of the students want to comment? Yeah? Sure, yeah. Uh, definitely more welcoming than I expected. I mean, I guess it's a networking event, so what? hopefully it's it's welcoming. <laughs> yeah, you guys were very, I found, easy to talk to and good to get to know. Uh, okay, thank you. I, I think, I don't know if I'll be doing anything soon. I know with, with online schooling right now, it's kind of a mess, so I, my time is pretty... <laughs> pretty important to me but i'll i'll definitely keep it in mind if i'm looking for networking in the future yeah and also you can connect with you know any of us on any of the online platforms if you want to and i find that works well say if you have a question uh there's one student in particular who graduated from conestoga um basically he's now in ireland i think until january doing a course in ireland on business and we, we connect, I've interviewed him a few times for my videos, but I still connect with him in Ireland and he connects with me because um, he helps me sort some things out and I help him. So that is, again, you know, networking. It could be done in a casual way like that. Um, has anybody else um, got anything to say or any questions to ask anybody in the group? It's okay if you haven't. <laughs> no? <laughs> Quite so today, I have maybe a, a quick uh, a quick networking tale, if that yep. helps. Yeah, so uh, I actually um, had the pleasure of speaking with a young lady recently. She reached out to me on LinkedIn, um, has just graduated a cybersecurity program from Ryerson University and was looking to connect with some folks in, in the industry. Um, and we had a great chat, uh, had an opportunity to, um, to answer some questions. So it wasn't an open sort of open format uh, um, uh, kind of conversation, she actually came armed with specific questions. And she sent those questions to me ahead of time. So I had some chance to, uh, you know, at least make it look like I knew what the answers should be. But um, it was a really good experience. And then uh, just uh, a few days later, um, we actually reconnected. Uh, she let me know that she was looking to, uh, you know, following from the conversation, looking to get her career started had found um, a role at the company where I work and wondered if it would be a good fit. Uh, and then earlier this week, I actually then uh, ended up actually recommending her for that role. So, uh, nice. you know, just that simple act of her spending uh, maybe I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, um, she's essentially got her foot uh, in the door for the interview process where, where I work. So that is uh, nice. a really good example, if anyone is looking for a position, you know, aside from small business, if you're just looking to get a role, um, I strongly urge you just reach out and connect with someone. You, you might be amazed that some folks are actually willing to spend some time 
um, sit down and, and have a chat about their career, how to get going, and uh, you never know where it could lead. So there you go. And I know Ian in particular, Ian Ingalls, Remax. Uh, Ian, you were one of the first people all those years ago to ask me, if, you know, how can I help you, Linda? It's normally me asking that question. So, you know, I think everybody in the room has got the idea. It's not just about me. It's not just about you. It's about community. So I guess um, if unless anybody has any other questions or wants to do anything special, we may let you escape because it's been a long night for all of you. And I know a lot of you have zoomed out. So have you got anything to say in closing, Dave? Uh, no, just I want to extend my thanks to everyone for uh, for coming and for sticking around. As Linda said, uh, you know, these things tend to... Uh, tend to be a bit more taxing, I think, than in-person events. So really appreciate you spending some time with us. Thanks so much. Okay, Maybe thanks. Been with you. Oh, thank you. We really, really appreciate it. Our December meeting, um, we'll have some announcements. Um, sorry, November meeting, um, we'll have some announcements. And um, do we have a theme for November yet, Dave? Uh, I'm going to say no, because then no. you'll ask me what it is. So no. <laughs> <laughs> And then December is normal. We're going to have our uh, December social. I know we can't be together to have drinks and a fun, but Dave will do his music quiz probably again, will you, Dave? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We usually have our quiz event for the summer social and for the uh, for the, the Christmas social. So we'll There'll see. There'll be some can. kind of quiz. Okay. Yeah. Bye, bye bye, everybody. Take care. Take care, and, everyone. Um, have a wonderful evening. Thanks again. We'll see you all soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yes, have bye -bye. a great evening, guys. <laughs>